Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming uh, and in today's video we are going to be going through six of the rarest achievements in the Fortune Island DLC in Forza Horizon 4. Uh, some of them are trickier than others but anyway let's have a look at what rare achievements we will be going for. So the first one wants you to complete the Kraken in less than six minutes in the Saline S5S Raptor. Uh, the next one wants you to get three stars on the Needlefall Danger Sign in the Morris Minor Traveller. The next one is at the trickiest one and it wants you to three star the forest run trailblazer gate in the plp 50 uh, the fourth one wants you to complete the leviathan in less than eight minutes in the ford fiesta st rx 43 fifth one wants you to get over 180 mile an hour in the conan's egg cca's at the lady at the lake speed trap and the last one wants you to get a time of 40 seconds or better in the exomotive exocet at the hay clon point trailblazer now we're going to start with the hardest, trickiest one here, uh, which wants you to three-star the Forest Run Trailblazer Gate in the PLP 50. Now I won't lie, this is the hardest one, but I'm going to give you some tips to help you make it a little bit easier. So obviously you want to start off in the 1962 PLP 50. Uh, I have made a tune for this one, as I have with every single car for all the events. This one's called Trailblazer Tune, and it will help you. Um, now the Trailblazer in question is this one, the Forest Run. So obviously you do have to go straight through the forest in order to successfully uh, get three stars, which wants you basically to hit uh, around 38 second mark left. Now. One tip for this mainly is do not sort of go full throttle everywhere because you will spin out. So my tip to you is to sort of feather the throttle. As you can see here, it's going str fairly straightforward. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I do hit a couple of trees here and there, it's to be expected, but the rewind tool still works and it won't affect your time. Uh, so you can always use that, don't forget it. But as you can see on the rev limiter there, I'm not ragging it. And as we just saw there, where you do rag it, you will spin out. So feather that throttle and it will make life a lot easier. Uh, and when you find that gap in between the trees, it's mainly luck. Uh, you will make it and it is doable, as you can see there. Um, I've got a time of 38.2 seconds, basically. Um, so that is the hardest one there. But providing you don't sort of cane it all the way through and you're gentle with the throttle, you will get it, trust me. Uh, and that tune did help a fair bit. Now the next one wants you to get three stars on the needle full danger sign in the Morris Minor Traveller. This one is very easy actually. Uh, so you want the 1953 Morris Minor Traveller which came in the Fortune Island DLC. Again, I've made a tune for it called Needle Fall Danger Sign. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use it. I would recommend it, but it's entirely down to yourselves. Uh, and here is the Needle Fall Danger Sign at the top of the map. So you need to get 1100 feet in this one uh, to get three stars. Like I said, it's not actually that hard. If you start with a decent run up, as you just saw there, uh, and you hit it around the 155 to 160 mile an hour mark, uh, you will get it. So I just got it with 1,153 feet. So that's 53 oh, three feet over the target distance, uh, but a very easy achievement there. And it is incredibly rare, as you saw there. 0.9% of gamers had it. Uh, the third one wants you to get a time of 40 seconds or better in the Exomotive Exocet at the Halcom Point Trailblazer. So this is another Fort June Island DLC car. Uh, and again, I have made another tune for it called Trailblazer King. It's up to yourselves if you want to use it. Uh, it is a very quick tune. Here is the Trailblazer gate in question. Um, now, the tricky bit about this is you have the mountains in the middle, as you can see there. Just on the right hand side of the car and the left hand side there are mountains. Now I wouldn't recommend going over them, I'd recommend going through them as you can see here. Um, it will make life very difficult if you start jumping all of them. The only one I recommend jumping is that last one there because it will save a lot of time. Um, and then very easy, there you go, three stars. Another one of the fairly easy ones uh, should only take you a couple of attempts car's not actually that tricky to use it's fairly easy uh, it might take a little bit of getting used to but not that hard really uh, the fourth one is the easiest one here and it wants you to get 180 mile an hour in the Koenigsegg CC8S on the Lady of the Lake speed trap again I've made a tune for it you don't have to use it uh, this one will be fairly easy for you guys to tune anyway uh, just give it a fair bit of power leave it a rear wheel drive because it will be quicker uh, in terms of acceleration and top speed and all you want to do is hit over 180 mile an hour on that speed trap. So three stars on it is about 150, but it wants you to get over 180. Uh, so again, 
that's probably the easiest one out of them all it's not that hard at all uh, and in order to win the Koenig's egg you win it on the fifth uh, treasure hunt I believe now the next one wants you to get uh, complete the Kraken in under six minutes in the sailing s5s Raptor this is another car that you win in the treasure hunt um, I have made a video before that I will link down here um, in how to complete all the treasure hunts uh, and again I've made another tune called sub 6 min kraken uh, for the S5S Raptor if you need it uh, I completed this race in about 5 minutes 30 so it is a fairly easy one um, I made the race just for sailing you can do it for whatever you want it doesn't matter if you amend the race change the weather change the cars uh, it will not affect the outcome of the achievement providing you get it in under 6 minutes uh, this is another fairly easy one, uh, the tune I made massively helped me, I did do an engine swap to sort of cut down a bit of time to make it a bit quicker um, and if you want to use it it will make life easier for you guys, it's not a hard car to handle I'll be honest. Um, so as you can see coming up to the finish line I cross it in about 5 minutes 30 odd seconds. Um, another fairly easy achievement to be honest, it's just a little bit time consuming this time. Uh, but it's not actually that daunting if you think it is, uh, it is fairly easy. And it's the same for the Leviathan and the Fiesta, which we'll get onto in a minute. Um, but as you can see, their final time is 5 minutes 35 odd. Um, and a very rare achievement. Again, 0.25% of gamers have it. Uh, which, considering how easy some of these, got, these are, uh, is quite surprising. But now for the next one, uh, it wants you to complete the Leviathan in less than 8 minutes in the Ford Fiesta ST RX43. Uh, another DLC car that came with Fortune Island, and there's another tune. It's called Fastest Tune. Uh, you can download it if you want. Now the difference is, normal, normally when people tune this car, uh, it'll max out at about 135 because they don't start tinkering with the gearing and alignment and all that. Uh, whereas the tune I've made will max out at 183 mile an hour. Uh, and you will need uncertain sections of this race that speed now again you can tinker with the race uh, you can start adapting it start changing the cars used in it so I used it just for rally monsters um, I would recommend doing it in decent weather because it will make life a lot more harder in sort of snow um, I did it at night time just because it looks prettier on the island uh, but you can do it whenever wherever it doesn't matter just make sure you do it on the Leviathan Cross the finish line in under 8 minutes using this Ford Fiesta RX43. Um, again, if you want to use that tune that I created, I would recommend it unless you sort of know what you're doing uh, when it comes to changing the gearing around to get the higher top speeds out of the cars. So this one we hit about 183 like I said. Um, and you will need it in this race against the other cars um, because if you max out normal tune about 135 mile an hour, um, it will definitely affect your speed. So I think this one I ended up finishing in about 7 minutes 35 seconds, uh, which is quite far under the 8 minute mark, uh, and a very easy achievement. Again, it's not as daunting, uh, it's probably second longest achievement out of them all. Uh, the longest one that took me was the PLP 50 Trailblazer one, uh, that took me about 10-15 minutes. So don't be afraid if you don't get it first time, uh, it did take me a long time for that one, uh, it's very annoying I'll be honest. But there we have six very rare and very easy ish achievements in the fortune island dlc in forza horizon 4 uh, i hope this guide helped you guys out and i hope that it worked for you please do tell me your stories now look i know the plp 51 will be hard and annoying and i don't blame you because i did lose my shit a few times on that one um, but you will do it do not fear it just takes a few attempts and a bit of sort of uh, effort put into it but you will get it and there's an easy 120 game score there for you and some incredibly rare achievements uh, but last of all guys i want to wish everyone a very very merry christmas um, and a happy new year i probably will load a video uh, in between christmas and new year itself but a massive thank you for everyone's support this year i hope you have a fantastic christmas from the bottom of my heart um, and all the best guys take care